Instead of offering a complete overhaul this year, Panasonic's new flagship HCX920 builds only slightly on its predecessor. The HCX900 was a great camcorder, so it makes sense. Panasonic decided to keep a good thing going and not really change the formula. Uh, the HCX920, it's got a few updates. There's a new image sensor, which we did see as improving the low-light video performance, but not by a huge margin. And it's also got built-in Wi-Fi, which is the big new feature that Panasonic is touting. Of course, Wi-Fi is a new feature on practically every camcorder in 2013, so Panasonic doesn't really stand out there. And the Wi-Fi features, they're cool, but they're not that fantastic. Um, connecting your smartphone to the camcorder is really fun, but it gets old pretty quickly, and it's not something we'd say is a necessity. The most useful Wi-Fi feature is probably live streaming uh, through Ustream, which is a feature that JVC can do and some other camcorders can do, but Panasonic does uh, introduce it here pretty well. The only problem is it takes a while to set up, so it's probably something that will be pretty complicated for newbies to really utilize. Performance of the X920 is really good, but it's not that much different than the X900. We did see the improvement in low light, so this is a better camcorder to shoot with at night or in a dark room, but in bright light, you're not gonna see much of a difference. If you have no interest in Wi-Fi, basically this means that you should look for an HCX900 first, especially if you can find one on discount, which might be possible. But even though this is an incremental upgrade, this is still a great camcorder. But this isn't the best flagship on the market. There's a lot of competition. In June, Canon is releasing its HFG30, and it's got a killer set of features and some really impressive specs. For high-end enthusiasts, it's really going to be difficult for Panasonic to compete with that model. But Panasonic's going to manage, and they're going to do so by keeping the price on the X920 down. I mean, this is a good flagship camcorder. It's got a lot of features, it's got great image quality, it's got a ton of manual controls, and it's available for just around a thousand bucks, maybe even a little cheaper on the street. That's a relative bargain for what you get in performance and quality. 